Okay, so now if we talk about planning with agility, how many times have you been in a meeting and say, well, you know, when it, what, what would the impact of this be? And, you know, in the Excel world and in other, in other worlds where products are more technical and require more specific expertise, like where you have to go back to IT and make the request, it's days, right? And by the time you come back with an answer, that answer is no longer relevant. In Anaplan, here's the challenge. So we've got, you know, we're planning kind of our uh, a driver-based planning example here. We have units, we've got sales price that calculates revenue, et cetera. And you could go in and you could, you know, enter enter a new volume and Anaplan just recalculates sale, uh, uh, revenue, cost of revenue, et cetera. But you're in a meeting and you get this request. Well, we know here's our margin, but I need to see gross margin percent. Gross margin percent is nowhere on this grid. So how do we handle that? Do we go back to IT? Do we call the vendor? Do we, you know, in ad plan, the, the answer to both those questions are is no. So here's how you, here's how that would work. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to open up, you know, we're going to open up that, you know, open up that grid. And now what I'm doing is I'm, I'm putting on my Anaplan model builder hat. And what I want to do is take a look at this grid. And again, the other grid you're seeing on the dashboard has been published to the end users, and that's what they see. This is what Anaplan model builders see. An Anaplan model builder is someone who's comfortable working in Excel, who has those Excel skills, is comfortable with building Excel workbooks. They can lift and shift those skills into Anaplan. So we need to see gross margin. That you know, the request is we need to see gross margin. So in this case here, I've got my gross margin, but I don't have my gross margin percent. So what I want to do is I want to actually create a calculation. So I'm gonna I'm gonna click on this little design design button, and I'm gonna insert a new line item. I'm gonna call this one gross margin percent. So I just type it in, and I'm going to put this kind of before this blank row. So I'll just go ahead and click OK. What Anaplan does is it actually adds that gross margin percent. You'll also notice there's an important message here called updating. And what that means is that Anaplan is adding this gross margin percent line item to all the affected modules that might uh, have that might have uh, these other line items that are associated with it. So Anaplan kind of performs those updates seamlessly, and so there's no no such thing as like broken links in Anaplan, like you would typically see in Excel or in other products where you have to add it in like multiple places or because it didn't get accounted for in a particular formula, you might have a calculation break. In Anaplan, you just add it once and it just updates all the affected modules. So in this case here, what I want to do is I want to actually change its format so I can select, okay, I'm going to be able to make it one decimal place. I'm going to put brackets around it. I'm, zeros are going to be a hyphen and I want it to be a percentage. So I'll go ahead and select that format. Also too, I can affect how it rolls up over time. So in this case here, instead of making it a sum, I wanna make it an average. But notice that you have like all kinds of capabilities here where you can actually use like ratios and minimum and maximums and opening and closing balances to kind of model like those balance sheet accounts or whatever. So I'm gonna put, uh, put in this average. And now what I wanna do is I actually want to create a calculation. So now I'm gonna select this line item I'm going to double click on the formula bar and you'll notice that when you double click on the Excel formula bar, you get the exact same behavior, the green check mark and the red X. And now what I want to do is I want to say, okay, my gross margin percent is really my gross margin. And you know, as soon as I click on it, Anaplan completes that calculation, starts building that calculation for us. The only thing I have to type in is what my what, what I want the math to do. So it's going to be division and that's actually going to be my gross margin divided by my gross sales revenue. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And there's my and there's my calculation. That's really all there is to it. So you be the judge in terms of whether so you feel this Anna plan can be can be you know you know managed by your business users. It's really just point and click, same as you would do in in Excel. But the formulas are much easier to understand because you're using the names that you choose to give things. Now, if I go back to my dashboard and I go ahead and refresh, what you'll see is that gross margin percent just dynamically shows up. So you could be in a meeting, you get that request. And within a minute, you could resolve that request directly in the meeting instead of saying that traditional phrase of, well, it's going to take me some time. I'll get back to you in a couple of days. In Anaplan, you can respond immediately to any changes or what if requests in, in, you know, in real time using the same skills that you would have working in Excel. Okay, so that's how you plan with agility.